What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode, a special edition episode of Quarantined Hyenas, History Hyenas, with Chrissy Quarantine and Yanni Quarantine. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm eating chicken quarantini. Yeah, I mean, this is, listen, we're not going to stop doing this podcast if me or Chris go to jail or if there's a deadly virus that was brought on by the Chinese to deplete our population so they can take over the world. It's not going to happen. I do have a, right up the bat. I want to ask because they have stopped elective surgeries, which I get. But is a sex change elective? What I'm t- it's a medical condition that I'm the wrong sex. Yeah, I think in your case, it's a mandatory emergency surgery and you might have to petition the governor for him to make an allowance. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the baby does have a cough, and the baby's had a cough since Thursday, so she's probably carrying and gave it and gave it to me. Now, the, what's the what's the statistics for white men going down with this? White healthy th- men. Yeah, I think it's like AIDS. I don't think straight white men can get it. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's why I have it because I'm not a straight white male. Now, let me ask you a I question. I have coronavirus, and that's why we're doing this. Because Mike is in the studio and me and Chris were both worried about Mike's well-being because we went to the studio and Mike gets coronavirus. Make no mistake, Mike Suarez is going to die. Because Mike's had coronavirus this whole time. I mean, the kids passed out on the podcast multiple times. Yeah, I mean, Mike, you cannot afford to be leaving the house right now. We are super appreciative of your dedication to this podcast that you went into the studio because you're the one who can't get this because you can't breathe. Mike, can you hear us and talk back or no? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Are you wheezing? No, I'm wearing a mask. Because now w- you did have whooping cough once in your life. Now, what's the difference between coronavirus and whooping cough? Uh, from what, I can re- but when I, when I've read, whooping cough's way worse. Wh- whooping cough de- destroys your lungs forever. So you, do you feel like you have destroyed lungs from, the, from your battle with whooping cough? It, it feels different. Like I gained a bunch of weight because I couldn't exercise for a year. Yeah, I think yeah. you got destroyed lungs from all the Slurpees and all the hoagies you eat, guys. <laughs> now, where now Venetia is not coming in because she is she woke. Where's Venetia? Uh, she she said, "Yeah, she said in text she's being ultra precautious and she's got um, hand sanitizer and progressive ways to protect her." Cause let me ask you a question. I converted to Republicanism last week. Do you think that that patriotism from that gives me an extra layer of force field around me? I think there's two things and two things only that protect you from this coronavirus. One is the mask. Two is draping yourself in the American flag. I don't – there's no way that that fucking virus can get through stars and stripes. Yeah, I mean because I, I live in an area now where I went to the supermarket and there was two things missing. You want to know what those two things were? What? Toilet papers and American flags. <laughs> it's what it is. Yeah, because yeah. an American American flag is like a stake for vampires right now. Yeah, well, for me, and I'm I'm still living in, in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, where we're Republicans, too, but they- You're fucking surrounded by Eastern heavies everywhere. Well, that's the thing. The thing is with me is not only is there- there's, there's three things missing in my neighborhood. It's toilet paper, American flags, and Chinese people. They've went missing over the past <laughs> few days, and I don't know what's going on, but they're not here. Yeah. So- so I think that, you know, some of the guys in this neighborhood have been taking matters into their own hands. Now, listen, um, we, me and Chris have consulted, um, obviously, um, from our last episode, you know, our coronavirus expert, Jessica Kearson. And she has told us what you need to do is go get yourself an American flag. Like Chris said, wrap yourself in it. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is you want to want to lay down, sing the Star Spangled Banner. And then pledge your allegiance to Trump, and the coronavirus will not be able to get into your body. It can't get into your body. And I've also been watching a documentary on George Washington just to get my immune system up. Yeah. Yeah, because patriotism is what's going to boost your immune system right now. So, you know, what you're going to want to do is just turn off Fox News and keep it there. Keep it there. And cuz, can we just make, after this one, can we just say to the Chinese that they could only eat hot dogs, hamburgers, and pizza— can we just put them on an American diet for the next year and see if that ha- see if that helps? 
Yeah, I think we could do that. And I think we could also just close our goddamn borders. <laughs> I mean, you're frozen right now. The Skype has frozen. We've uh, been attacked by the Chinese again digitally. Oh, wow. It's like the best picture of a frozen, too. Yeah, I know. I mean, I think that. There you go. I think. I, yeah, I think we're being taken physically by Frank Rizzo, and I think the Chinese are attacking us digitally. I will attack yeah, yeah, because digitally. everything just froze on my end. Because you got cute fucking coronavirus hair. It's what it is. Quarantine how's my, hair. How's my quarantine fucking, am I Yanni Yaya hair? It's your Yanni Yaya hair, but you got to post your quarantine hair and get involved in the hashtag. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get right in on that. Is it spreading like wildfire? Like the coronavirus is it? In, in Social quarantine is spreading. Yeah, I get. I, I get a lot of them, and people are getting mad that I'm not posting. It's like, listen, guy, you know. And then people are like, hey, this, you know, there's a, also been a couple of raisins that have po- that I've that I've said, oh, this is my quarantine air picture, and then it's just your dick. So what can you do? <laughs> a couple of raisins have gotten into my DMs. Now the coronavirus seems to have hit pretty hard in Seattle. Uh, which uh, is in Washington. I think, unfortunately, they just missed Portland. It's a little bit, it's a, you're a little off from Portland. Yeah, Portland, I wish they would have got people in Portland. I mean, you know, listen, I don't want anyone to die. Of course, I don't want that at all. You know, I want everyone to stay safe. But it's just like, yeah, Portland just could use a little, just fucking one, two. They could just use a little tuning up. <laughs> yeah, they could use they could use a little reality check. Yeah, we don't want anyone to die. Um, you know, it's like, but it's funny that I think podcasts will continue via Skype. Well, and you know, what's interesting is, is I think that, you know, we, we made a decision last minute to not, uh, to not do the podcast, but we do the podcast from the comedy cellar and they're closed. They have Liv said that they have to close. So Mikey, could we even do the podcast at our regular studio next week? Uh, yeah, they're going to make arrangements. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so just the club is the closed. Comedy, for the, uh, they're still filming tomorrow for that comedy Central show. They're filming? Yeah. How can they film? I thought by tonight, 8 p.m., everyone has to close. Oh, they're not open, but they're going to be filming. So I don't know how Oh, so, so what? They're going to have like a studio audience? They're going to do it with no studio audience? Or something. I don't know. They have, I don't oh, they're probably just going to do the stuff from the table. Maybe that too, yeah. It's no. just good for fans to know that no matter what happens, no matter if it's a pandemic, a nuclear war, an attack by Eastern Hemis, Whatever happens, we will, we will podcast. We will podcast, and no matter what happens, you really can't kill the Jews. They just have ways of just, <laughs> of just, it. yeah, Wei Shan Yeah, just Wei, say Wei Shan if we need it. Wei Shan I'm just kidding around. That was just a joke at the owner of the comedy cellar, Gnome. I was just kidding around. It's just because Gnome's had the club open for the last two weeks, but he hasn't been there. So his business was open, but he's been like, you know what? I'm not going down there. He's going to kill everybody. He's trying to kill Dan Natterman, and it can't happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this um, this coronavirus is definitely going to push straight on my marriage. It's what it is, Harness <laughs> Poppins. <laughs> Mrs. Poppins in the room, otherwise known as the History Hyenas FCC. Mrs. Poppins. Well, let me just tell you something right now. She didn't now. want to say anything. I got fucking cameras on my front and back lawn right now. I got the nest installed. So I just got a fucking notification that there's somebody on my lawn. Let me go get my rifle. I'll be right back. Get off my property. I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican. Get <laughs> now, listen, you went out to dinner last night. I saw from the Instagram for, for Verzi's wife's birthday. I mean, what? I hope that there were no Chinese around. It just says someone was spotted on my lawn. You know what it is? It's just the guys working in my – it's my guys working. I got guys working all over my house right now. Now, are those guys staying, staying six feet away from each other as they work? Yeah, I mean, they're staying six feet away because they're Mexican, so they're six feet below me anyway. It's what it is. Now, what about the gym? You guys, gyms are going to close. What are you guys going to do? My wife just got mad at me for that because they said that regular volume, but don't worry, they don't speak English. It's what it is. <laughs> I can't sacrifice the jokes. I got to do them. Now, cuz, now, yeah. the truth of the situation is being quarantined like this, um, you guys are probably going to make a baby. So what? So why don't we think of ba- baby names? Because as long as the baby's trans, I'm good. That's You're all good. I want. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. just need the baby to be trans. If the baby's not trans, I'm going to throw it off the hill like the Spartans used to do. Well, the good news. Yeah, I'm not having a regular sex trans. This is. I'm not going to have a regular sex baby going into the future. It's well, not that's, an interesting, that's an interesting question you break up because you bring up because when babies, when the baby's forming inside the womb, I believe it has both X and Y chromosomes, so it's kind of you. You start out trans. 
you do start out trans and you start out with the tail as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen, there's no Clorox or hand sanitizers at all anywhere in Bay Ridge. So we're going to have to figure out fun ways to make hand sanitizer. We I'm wondering. Pick- yeah. No, go ahead. Because I'm wondering, I don't know. What I do have, though, I was thinking about just taking all the antibiotics I have in my fridge and just putting those in water and putting washing my hands with that. You could do that, or you could just stick both your hands in your ass because it's clean as a whistle. Because you, you keep it clean just, just in case you want to have anal sex. You clean it out with, with a turkey baster. Now, the good thing about being celibate right now and not banging any tubes is that is that um, there's nothing, you know, when, when the medical field gets overwhelmed, there's nothing I really have to worry about unless I got COVID-19. But yeah, I don't have to. Because yeah. City MD is going to close and yeah. it's going to really fuck up. That's going to that's the hardest part of my week is not being able to go to City MD and say hello. Yeah, that's going to be a hard, hard for you. But imagine how hard it's going to be for Hey Bird. Well, I told Hey Bird to go to Vegas. I told him to go back to his family in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, Hayward's probably downstairs just waiting for you right now to, to get answers about his conditions. I know. Well, that's why I said, I said, I said, Bubba, you got to go to Vegas, be with your fam. And he said he would, but he's scared to go on the plane. I said, Bubba, get on a Greyhound and get your ass out there. Yeah, because I don't know what you're doing on this podcast because the city and state government needs you. You've been called back up. <laughs> yeah, because I've been called back up. I've been asked to renew my physical therapy license because make no mistake, people need their hamstrings massaged when they get COVID-19. Yeah, so tell the people what happened. You actually got an email from Governor Pataki. I don't know who's I, governor. Yeah, I got an email from no, from not. I got an email from the APTA, the American Physical Therapy Association, that said, "Hey, we've noticed that your license has lapsed due to the recent, you know, medical emergencies or you know, pandemic, whatever." They said, "They said we need you to renew your license. Now, if, we'd like we'd like you to renew your license if you'd like to do that." So I haven't so- responded yet. Yeah, what is, what are they going to need you to do? Just massage out old people? I mean, what do you got to do? You got to put your hands on somebody. Well, I think I think honestly, I think what 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 seriously what they probably want is respiratory therapists. I think that they want people who you know after they beat this thing, they're going to need their lungs rehabbed and things like that. So I think it's not really for like athletics or children. It's like the older people are going to need respiratory care. But yeah. the truth is, for me. For me, like I can still give respiratory care because anyone, I just want to say this, anyone on the podcast who thinks they have COVID-19, just come by me and I'll kiss you on the lips and we'll just make out a little bit. And I'll blow air into your lungs. Now, if you get called up, can I be your assistant or no? Nah? Or do you I have be to be my- Filipino? Yeah, you, you can because you got small hands too. That's another thing I noticed, but you got tiny little baby hands just like a Filipino. So I feel like you'd be a good assistant because cause, make no mistake, you're Greek and white in every part of your body. Besides your hands, they're little Filipino hands. I'm a, I have delicate, delicate, let's be honest, fucking pussy boy hands. You got little puss boy hands and it's okay. Let's now, just listen. be honest because the two of us, we just, you can look at our hands and know that we've never done any physical labor in our entire lives. Not an ounce, not a droplet of it. Now listen, you're coming to Bay Ridge tonight. I'm fucking coming to Bay Ridge. And I'm coming with my I'm coming with my fucking American flag like a, like a cross, and I'm running after Hemis to see if I can get them to fucking disappear. Now, are you coming with your wife to Bay Ridge? Now, my wife ain't going close to Bay Ridge. You crazy? So, cuz can I sip over? Because <laughs> <laughs> we got to we got to social distance. I can't I can't have yeah. You, but what if but what if what if we still go head to toe? But I it's six feet. Cuz, you better be careful, because if you fucking keep trying to get close to me, I'm going to slip a vitamin B in your drink. No! I said, oh, <laughs> no more B12. Cuz, we got a social distance. We got a social distance. Cuz, it's going to be hard. Now, listen, what about the people who need, who, like, need comedy work and who, or who need to work? I mean, every... Every week, like the, if if the, the government was saying that people, if they if they don't have four hundred dollars coming in, their their whole life is fucked up. So how do we help them? What do we do? Should we give money to, from the Patreon? What do we do? Are you still plant based? Yeah, I'm plant. Yeah, I am. I am plant based. Let me tell you something about what plant based has done for your jawline. It's made it fucking cute because even on Skype, Skype adds twenty pounds. But you look like a fucking skinny mini right now. I'm a skinny mini. Well, that's because I have coronavirus. What? <laughs> What can you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do, cause I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that need the, that need the work at the comic strip right now, and I don't know what we're gonna do. 
because we got to get the studio up and running from your crib. Now's the time that if, if it was up and running, we'd be good to go. Yeah. It'd just be me and you. But unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, I don't know. I mean, I want to build a fuck. I'm building a studio up here. I'm going to build a studio in my own apartment. I'm going to build a fucking room for the baby up here. I'm going to build everything. Because there's Jews on my windows. I don't know what's going on. Wow, wait, shut she in. Yeah, I mean, just because you know what's going on. You let know? me make, make no mistake. We spoke about this already, but make no mistake. I woke up today to about five messages from people being like, yo, your boy Yanni's wild. He dropped the N-word. I said, listen, Yanni quarantines will do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's my question to you. <clears throat> now that there's nothing. Oh, to you can- coughed. coughed. Yeah. <laughs> now that there's nothing to cancel. Well, how are you? How are you feeling that you can't cancel anything? Because well, right now, think you always well, feel thing, good when you, you put out what I, what I told you before is you put out something that's just funny. Why Sean is just a funny, funny, funny character. Go to Yon, at Yon's pops on Instagram and look at that character. It's just ten out of ten funny, and it makes people feel good. So nobody cares if you say in character something you're not supposed to say because there's an actual pandemic going on. So now that cancel culture thing it doesn't exist because now we're like, hey, that's helping me. So forget about the bullshit. You know, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I think, yeah, I think in times of emergency, I think uh, I think a lot of those PC people, their powers go away because people just want to laugh. And then I think when times are really good, their powers come back because how are you feeling that you can't cancel right now? Like there's nothing to cancel. Oh, you mean I can't cancel? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought you meant cancel culture. No, you I mean, mean that I can't cancel can, spots or cancel things. You can't cancel toots. You can't cancel spots. Everything's canceled right now. So you've lost your cancel powers. Right, right, right. Call up and say the baby's underneath the car. I can't make it. That's true. Um, well, I'm back with my baby's mama. So, <laughs> actually, you know what? Calling up and saying that you can't come because you have coronavirus sounds like something you would use before coronavirus happened. Yeah, like the thing is, yeah. Even me, this pandemic has exposed a lot of people. Like, even me, yeah. Like, I can't cancel on anything. Well, actually, no. I, I say. Actually, the pandemic has given me all, all I have to do now is say I can't cancel. I have a little bit of a cough and cough a little bit on the phone. But it, that's only going to last. Here's the problem with the quarantine. This is only going to last for about two weeks, even though we're going to be need to quarantine for another six weeks. And people are going to start spreading it, baby. We're going to get out there. We're going to start spreading it. But listen, I if uh, right, I need to look at the stats on who's the lowest probable person of having it and then i'll go try to bang them out whatever That's whatever it. whatever guy that is <laughs> now because you're coughing a lot now <laughs> i told you i got corona but what are you big, coughing for i i don't know maybe it's because i'm laying down i don't know maybe i got coronavirus i don't know but if i got coronavirus i'm gonna beat it well i think you're probably coughing because there's people in your house that don't have u.s passports That's probably <laughs> a part of the that's probably wait, part of the reason wait, yeah because yeah. make no mistake if you cough and but here's the thing. I want now, just because we're under quarantine and shit's serious, when we go on to public places, if you're coughing, if you're coughing a lot and you hold up a U.S. passport, I know it's not a coronavirus cough. But if you're coughing with no passport, we should legally be allowed to take physical action against those people. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 is, is vigilante law in place yet? I mean, what is, what's the law situation right now? I don't know. We have to ask Andrew Schultz. Yeah, I mean, what is, what's, he, what's Schultz doing right now? Is he quarantined? Because you know what sucks? We just started selling tickets, and now we just got quarantined. We had- so it's just what happens <laughs> with us. We're just, we're almost, we kind of got haybirded by fucking coronavirus. Because when you hang out with Yachty, almost, all of a sudden things just become almost. The definition, this is the definition of a Yanni almost, is just us just really moving along and then just dead in the water. Just dead in the water. By the way, if you're wondering, yes. That we forgot to say since this episode will be coming out. This is the special quarantine history hyenas episode. Both of our shows have been postponed. Um, our show March 19th at Gramercy Theater is now off and it's be- being postponed to what? Do we know the date at all? We June 22nd is the new date as of now. Okay, so June 22nd will be the new and those people will get notifications and their tickets will <laughs> yeah i think once things get back up and running because everything's in disarray right now also april 29th we haven't got a new date but that also is canceled in norwalk yeah and we have some personal dates that have been canceled too my spring i'm canceled date through canceled. may yeah we're canceling everything's being canceled we don't know what this is going to like uh look like so um just check in with us but you know we will keep podcasting 
Uh, I'm moving back to Bay Ridge. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you have to walk out. It's what it is. Because I'm... <laughs> Oh no! It froze again. You froze, Chris. It froze. Up. Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be? <laughs> are, they, are people gonna be able to see this too? Uh, yeah, they're gonna see his frozen face unless. Oh know, god, it's it. so funny! You just froze. Okay, now that we're doing a, a live Skype, I you just froze too. I screenshotted it. Yeah, I should have screenshotted yours, but now since we're doing a live quarantine episode, cause and, and you're a doctor, especially since you've been called back up during these times. And they need more doctors. You've been promoted to doctor. And Eileen and Lynn are crying. They love it. But I need you to check my prostate. Do you mind? Here we go. <laughs> go ahead. Get me in there. <laughs> oh. How's the flow? Get the flow lower. <laughs> yeah, you got good flow, cuz. <laughs> and you got nice, clear peeping. Could you see it or no? Because if you see it, then we're going to get stopped by the FCC. But you couldn't see my piece, right? I couldn't see your piece. Because you got a baby piece. <laughs> Mike, am I legally allowed to show my open asshole on this or no? Uh, I mean, it's going to go on YouTube, so it would be easier for me not to. But Okay, because it'll uh, get right flat. Now, us three looking at it. So. <laughs> now, also, guys, I want to encourage everyone to go to patreon.com slash Boys. Um, if you want extra content, I know that people's you know, aren't making money and going to work. So we're going to really pump up the Patreon to make it worth it for you guys. And, of course, if you don't want to join, no pressure at all. We're still going to be putting out a lot of free stuff, but we're going to be putting out a lot of fun stuff. I I would say by the end of this week, Giannis and I are going to meet, and we're going to get a lot of Sean Terry and Patrick Mulrooney content going, and it's going to be fun. Yeah, and, you know, by the end of the month, we should be on another network. Yeah! That, too! Mike? Pack your bags. Okay. <laughs> You're coming with. Yay. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. We're I'm just, just joking. joking. We're no, very happy. Because we had an ad read from my bookie, but then make no mistake, March Madness got shut down. So we will not get that money. No, we won't. Now, get does that. everybody have money? My, Giannis, do you have money in your account to live for the next six weeks? Are you good? Yeah. I, I Mike, are you good? Uh, I'm good right now. You're good? All right. You got enough money? I, what, do you, what do you need from us, Mike? <laughs> You need supplies to make enchiladas? What do you want? <laughs> uh, no, the freezer's full. We're doing okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a time where um, it's, it really is helpful. It's a helpful, helpful time to be a Greek kid because Greeks are paranoid people. That's why when you go to a Greek diner, you ever notice you can't hand the money to the waiter? You got to walk up and hand it to whatever 96-year-old Greek guys behind the counter. That's because we're paranoid. We don't let anyone touch our money. So for right now, I'm winning because I'm Greek and paranoid. I got lots of cash. How much cash do you have? Just let the people know. Yeah, I don't want to let the people know because that's it. I don't. I just got security cameras installed. Try me. <laughs> I got about $400 in my wallet. Is that enough? That's enough. I think that's enough for you and the baby, especially because, you know, but the other side, my yeah. baby's mama has scratch-offs, so that's yeah. good. She got a lot of scratch-offs, and I think if you went over to your baby mom in laws house for $400, I think she's going to think that you guys got four-year supply. Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, what the she truth said, is, you got mother- $400, but guess what? I got 14 ca- Pop-Mop coupons to put in there with it. Well, that's funny. It's my mother came over yesterday to disinfect the apartment I'm staying at, and then my, you know, babies, everybody was here, you know, everybody, the baby was here. And uh, and baby's mama and and and, and baby's grandma and and every and my mother came over and just started Clorox and everything and then she started Cloroxing them. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we have to try to see if we can get that Iranian Puerto Rican video back. Can we at least put it back up on Patreon? Should we ask her live right now? <laughs> huh? Yeah, can you want to live on the podcast right now? Oh, is she there? Yeah, let's ask her. <laughs> This could be the end of the episode. Yanni, <laughs> can I sleep over your night? Wait a second. I had no idea that that was a... Uh... Do you want to be on the podcast or no? Can I just ask you a question on the podcast? You don't want to be on it? <laughs> can I just ask you a question? Okay. The question we want to know is, can Giannis and I put that Iranian video... <laughs> back up on our Instagrams. Can we do it? Do whatever the fuck you want. What was that? Do whatever the fuck you want. That's a no. <laughs> <laughs>
This is, this, is, this, is, this is the wildest episode we ever did. <laughs> yeah. And listen, let me tell you something. Okay, I just want to be honest with you about one thing. I, as you know, my tits have been getting smaller. I don't have I still have mashed potato teas, but not as big as before, and there's a good reason for that. Uh -huh. And that reason is the withing scale. This thing is un this is the plant-based pussy scale. This is a plant-based scale. Forget about having a perfect beach body. That's not what I'm about cuz I really can't cuz I got an, my I, my left hits an anteater. Yeah. So I can't do it anyway. I'll never be ripped. But carrying around too much weight, my my blood pressure's high, yep. my sugar's high. Yep. I I may have sleep apnea, I may have to get the mask. I get joint pain. Right. I could be re you know my, my insulin is being resistant. I'm coming like a true life FF. Yeah. But with the Withing scale, what the Withing scale has done, first of all it's got 10 years of experience and it connects devices to help anyone take control of their health. It was founded more than 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. That's when you that's, that's longer than you've been doing comedy. That's a long time. That's literally before I had a sex change. That's that time. I, that, that's when I was a woman. As I remember. Yeah. And it produced the first, the first commercially available smart scale, and they are still considered the best. So if anyone tells you Withing smart scales aren't the best, you tell them, yes, they are the best, you FF. They were the first. Yeah. And it supports up to eight users, and they have a pregnancy mode, Benetia, yeah. um, with advice for every week of pregnancy and a way to know about healthy weight gain. Right. So if you have a baby. Now, if Mike just gets on that scale, they're just going to assume he's nine months pregnant? They won't know. No, Mike, no, because Mike's been using the Withing scale, he's been dropping weight too. Oh, that's that's how that works. Yes, and you can even put your pets on it. Yeah, yes, what it is. So if you want to take the, if you want to take control of your weight or just add muscle and lose fat, Withing Smart Scale can help. At every weigh-in, you get weight, full body composition, weight trend, even a local weather report. Wow. In fact, Tom's Guide recently named Withing's Body Plus. Best overall smart scale 2020. Sounds like something else 2020. That's what it is. Get 25% off body plus body composition Wi-Fi smart scale at withings.com backslash history. That's W, that's W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S dot com backslash history. H-I-S-T-O-R-Y. Withings, master your vitals. Yeah, I mean, you look down in the morning when you're naked and you take your weight, you're looking down at your piece, and you're also getting the weather to start your day. It's what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, mean, I was just asked to leave. We were, we're a podcast. We we're truly a podcast on the run. <laughs> we're just on the run. Guys, make no mistake. I may have to sleep in your shed tonight. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you weren't lying when you said you were back with your baby's mama. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I mean, God. You are. Uh, what can you do in quarantine? You're. <laughs> you're I, I had no idea I, I, that you were there. Uh, you're Chrissy. What did we say? You're Chrissy. Uh, uh, Chrissy Carey, Cr Chrissy Conniptions, Chrissy. What? I mean, your eras. What do they? What do we call them? The most people have like eras. You have like. You have oh, Chrissy. Um, Chrissy what, chapters. Uh, didn't we call ourselves Chrissy? Did we call it Chrissy eras? I mean, yeah. I mean, your. I mean, it's just like you. Your thing. You. Your. Your life moves quick. It's just a lot what of it chapters. Is. You got yeah. like if your if your life was a book, it would be a book. It would be Ulysses. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a four thousand page book. Yeah, you know, I, you never know where the story is going to go next. It's a choose your own adventure. It's four thousand pages. There's a lot of chapters. Well, because here's the truth of the situation: is I am at I am at I am here at at, at my old place, but it's because I'm dating her brother. So <laughs> I'm really with Tio. I mean, is what you just did walking in there and doing that? I mean, is this podcast even going to be able to go up now? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is now. Listen, uh, that made me laugh Patreon real hard. Content, and we're going to think of some wild Patreon content now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how are we going to top this? What's going on? I mean, who else is doing a quarantine podcast? I guarantee you, you'll see about eight of them after this. It's what it is. Stop stealing our ideas. <laughs> <laughs> It's what it is. Now, have you guys been exercising? What's been the exercise routine? Because I was thinking about because Badass Academy 
and I are going to team up and I'm going to start doing live exercise videos for my Instagram, doing Instagram live every morning exercise. That's what a really think? good idea. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't worked out in a week and I feel, I feel horrible. How do you, are you sick? Do you have any symptoms at all? You feel fine. I don't. I mean, most of my symptoms are mental as usual, you know? It's just, uh, it's constantly, you know, I have no symptoms, no. Except I feel a little worn out. Is that the coronavirus? Well, I think it's just mental. We're all mentally exhausted by this thing, you know? Yeah, and I've just had all these, I've had electricians. I got a floor guy here. I got a painter, and I had an electrician out here. Why? I'm getting prepared for a, 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 the apocalypse, so. What do you want? Hold on. What do you want? Do I want what? Some wine? Um, no, because I because I want to exercise first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what just happened? Is this, is, this a, is this a ten out of ten? Yeah. What just happened? Just gotta yell that. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? We uh we got a lot of people out there that really need a lot of cheering up and you really put your whole life on the line every time is really is really what the people put their hard earned money up for. And yeah. This, little, this this should be Patreon, but they're getting this for freebie. Yeah, so they're getting this one for freebie, but this is gonna be one where it's like if you want to see shit like this, we're only gonna start putting on the Patreon as this quarantine continues. Yeah, as it continues, uh yeah, well you know, Chris puts uh you know just spins the wheel with his with his with his well being in his life. That's just that you're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah, you're gonna have to pay. If you think that I was wild with no quarantine, wait until I can't get outside the door. Wait until you put me back in my cage. <laughs> so so what, right now you just you guys are quarantined together. I mean that is a show right there. I mean talk about a show. Imagine a show idea. It it's, it takes place during coronavirus and you're just quarantined with uh. You maybe not. Just say whoa. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's a show. Yeah, I mean, it'd be funny if, like, these guys who are working at my house, if they, if we all just got quarantined and they had to stay in here right now, and I just had to live with these painters. Yeah, I mean, cause make no mistake, if if you don't think that we're gonna write a whole season of Bay Ridge Boys while we're in this quarantine, you got another thing coming. Oh, we we got we're definitely are gonna we write officially it. in a quarantine yet or not yet. Well, that's what I'm scared of. Right now, we're in this sort of informal where they're asking people. But now they're – I think it's going to – because people, especially young people, just refuse to, refuse to listen. Yeah. That's an edit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're really cutting close. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, you're cutting yeah, close. And now I'm just yeah. going to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got red wine, too. I mean, you're really unwinding, huh? Yeah, I'm going to unwind because just, like just like a female does. I mean, I'm a glass of red wine. I got my feet. Kick the fuck up! I got my books here. I got I got all the books I need. We got a little Eckhart Tolle. We have You Are Enough, The Mastery of Love, A Brief History of Time, and Blessed in the Darkness and the Power of Change today. I got my red wine. I got this to stick in my pussy, and and we're just gonna be good. Do you got you got your red wine? Do you have your blood pressure machine? I forgot my blood pressure machine, but cu oh, cuz here's a nice development. I went and got a sleep study. Finish, I, I went and got a sleep study. I went and got a sleep study, and my blood pressure is one twenty one over seventy seven. I got QPP. Yeah, I mean you're back to normal because it could be because of plants. No, I think it's because of plants. Yeah. Did you hear yeah. what I said or no? Well, what'd you say? Like, did you hear it? Mike, Mike? I couldn't hear it. What'd you say? I said, did the squeak leave anything? Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are we doing, man? We 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 push it too far, no? Push it too far, yeah. But what can you do? What are we a couple kids who push it too far? We're a fucking podcast on the run, and cuz make no mistake, I think that the quarantine. Because here here's the truth. Here, let me be honest. Because yeah. I know the audio may be a little fucked up, but I know we're trying to do this from our phones and we're doing the best we can. We will get better as this quarantine goes on. But cut, we're here to bring people joy, people who are maybe going to get sick themselves, lose someone who gets sick. We're here to have a good time and have fun and just be like, hey, 
Forget about the pandemic. Just come into our world where reality is just a suggestion, and we'll have a good time. Now, why are you under the couch? <laughs> the, pho- the phone just dropped behind the bed. Oh, I thought oh. you threw me under the couch. I, I thought I thought the Mexicans were coming. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's uh, We're going to be okay. But, I mean, you could – you don't know – can you look under the chair? You don't know – squeaks the lair. Yeah, yeah. Let's check. <laughs> Oh. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did, hold on. Listen, listen. He did, he did leave his cup. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to put this out. <laughs> Let's put it out. It's a pandemic. We have no choice. Yo, yeah. I, I mean, got on one. Yeah, I mean, you're drinking wine. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Are you okay? Because I'm a housewife. It's what it is. Now, let me ask you, because you're, you're an anxious guy. How are you doing with this coronavirus? Are you, are you nervous? Are you upset? I'm not nervous. I'm, you know, I'm obviously worried about, I'm, I'm worried about Barney Rubble. You know, I'm worried about, I'm worried about, obviously, his condition, you know, with having diabetes and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm worried, you know, so, I, I, you know, he's keeping himself you know, I think I think we have to take preventative measures. Like, although I want him to, although I want him to, you know, be able to see me and see the granddaughter with his health, I don't think I can. And also, you know, I just don't want I don't want to, I don't want him to get too close to me because you know I don't know if I have credit cards laying around. I don't want him to gamble away his Corona funds. Right. So yeah. So you know, so that and then also. <clears throat> But if you there's know, one I, thing I if there's one thing I know that even with the coronavirus and with the social spacing and the quarantine, with him I'm pretty confident he's gonna find a way in. It's yeah, he's just gonna yeah, the kid finds a way. He finds a way in. He always does just find a way. So there's really nothing you could do. I mean, I'm worried about him, you know, I'm worried about, you know, obviously my mother, my my you know, Aunt Eileen, you know, she's smoker. So I worry about family. Because I feel like, look, if we're going to get it, we're going to get it. All the statistics say we'll beat it and we'll be okay. But, of course, you know, I mean, nobody wants to get this thing. The only positive thing about getting it is they say if you get it, then you're immune to it. So that's a positive. Yeah. Now, the the real emer- – I mean, are we just not going to have haircuts with Stefano's, Stefano's quarantine? I mean, what? Are, that's the real emergency. What am I supposed to do with my hair? With my hair? Yeah, well, barbershops have closed now as of Can tonight. we call Stefano on the three? Can we call Stefano right now? Well, like anything else, Italians are going to find a way to be criminals. Stefano said that even though they're close, he said to text him and he'll tell us where we can go get a haircut from him. He's going to do it illegally with cash. And then so is Anthony. He's going to open up badass at certain times when the gov- when the cops when the cops circle the block and look, he's going to open up the gym for an hour. And he's going to have to pay him cash. So the criminals will find a way. They'll Italians find a way. find a way. Let me ask you a question. Is it possible for us to Skype in, uh, to Skype in Stefano right now? Just ask him a few questions. Can we Skype him in? Mike, is that possible? Uh, I need his Skype information. Uh, yeah, I don't think a kid like Stefano has Skype. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Can we Skype in Venetia and check in on her? Uh, if I had her Skype. You, now, because what I, I'm hearing Zoom may be better than Skype, Mike. What do you think of Zoom? It's the same thing. Same shit? Yeah, well, this we is wor- for. On your end, this is working fine, right, Mike, from the studio? Yeah. It all comes down to what wireless connection you have. Yeah. So. Right. 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 So we, we're just right next to each other. How's my quarantine here, uh, Mike? Do I look wild? Because I can't see myself. No, you look fine. Uh, yeah. How does? How's? Uh, I just put the subtitles on too. You can put subtitles on. Oh wow. You don't even. Need, you don't even need. We don't even need to pay Mikey anymore. I just put the subtitles on. <laughs> put the subbies on now, Mike. Can you make a video? Can we post some of the things that have happened on our Instagram and post this as a video? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, yeah. I got what because at my place I got Wi Fi, Verizon, Fios, but since I'm at the situation house, I think the Wi Fi is back or popular. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, you know, when he walks into the room to when he walks into the room to, to say hello to the situation, you know what I have to say about that is clip it, yeah, <laughs> clip it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's gonna be like. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to see more of this, go go subscribe to Bay Ridge Boys and check out the episode. patreoncom slash Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just going to be recording. This is special uh, quarantine coronavirus, Chrissy coronavirus, Yanni Yaya hair. 
We're just here. We're, we're podcasting. We don't want to let you down. We didn't. We're, we're trying to social distance. Uh, and so we did not come in today. And so we, we decided we were going to Skype this episode. And you just coughed. Yeah, I've been caught. Well, because I'm drinking a little bit now. Yeah. When somebody, how long have you been drinking? Since the morning? I'm, I'm on my third glass. Yeah, it's uh, it's three fifteen. So I may be having a little more anxiety than I expected. Yeah, sometimes you do. You you do just pop open. You just do pop open a, a bottle of red wine. Once in a while, I pop on a bottle of red wine. Um, I've watched Pretty Woman now. I'm not lying to you. Since Thursday, about six times, I've watched Pretty Woman because it just calms me down. Um, and uh. And and yeah, and I and I've asked the situation if we can name our new baby Vivian, and she said no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's the situation: is you you're pretty lucky to um, be, I guess, singlish at the time. I mean, who knows? Because I've just been listening to fucking Glee for the past four days. Because of because your wife. <laughs> I've been quarantined with my wife, and I've been watching fucking Glee. And if I had any, if I had any suspicion that I may have been a gay kid, I think that if I any gay that was in me has been turned straight. Because I've had a fuck enough of Glee. Now, let me ask you a question. I've has had your a wife enough of Glee? Has your wife's truffle bosses have they canceled work finally? The, the truffles that she works for? Yeah, yeah finally. finally, right? Eight p.m. on Friday. Yeah, but the thing is, my next door neighbor's dog bit my dog, and now my wife hates my next door neighbor. So we got a situation. Yeah, we got a situation. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. So you can't bite the dog. Yeah. It's so listen. But the so good what news we were thinking is, is we were going to hire you to come up and maybe put a little su- of Chrissy D special in the bowl. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. I know. How, if there's one thing I know how to do is kill a dog. Yeah, Jesus. it won't be the first time you try to kill a dog. Now, how's Virgie doing with all this? Is Virgie getting his hairline tattooed back on or is he not going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> how do I turn the subtitles off? Yeah, I, I think, don't know. You keep just taking screenshots. Yeah, I think I think we I think. I think all. I think his hair. I think he can't get it tattooed on it right now. I think everyone's, everyone, nobody's. What's gonna happen? Nobody's working right now. Nobody's working, and and cause honestly, we were talking about this before, but like the baby not being in school, like it's tough because it's like if as this goes on, like a couple of these parties, I'm just gonna have to bring the B A B I. Yeah, I mean, we may we may be doing the next couple of weeks. We may be podcasting like this. Um, via quarantine because we're not going to stop the podcast but if you're going to come to bay ridge then we can we can do it together i guess you know but the problem is is we don't know who's got it that's the issue it's like you we could both have it right now and be passing and we don't know how wild is this that we're dealing with this we're finally this came out of the blue too it just let us know how comfortable we are that like it took this. Uh, I think this took a long time to register for a lot of people, like you know, because it's such a paradigm shift. You have to go through from living comfortably, doing whatever you want, to like, oh my god, there's a pandemic. Everyone needs to stop doing what they're doing. Everyone's business needs to go on hold. Your life needs to go on hold. This is serious. Because it's going to be people that commit suicide. Uh, yeah, seriously, a lot of old people are going to die. Like a lot of people have a lot of isolation. It's going to. So, oh, I'm frozen. Yeah. A lot of people have social consp- isolation. Yeah, people have conspiracy theories, but you actually have a friend in Italy who's let you know what it's like, right? My friend Francesco Facchinetti, who's like a he's a famous comedian in Milan. I did the Ultimate Beastmaster with him. Fuck that show. I did that. I did that with him, and he is saying he's been under quarantine now for whatever it's been a week and a half, two weeks. You know, because he's in Milan, which is like the Italian epicenter. They have it the worst, and he said. You know, we're all having quarantine parties, having a lot of fun. He said, and now it's not fun anymore. People are dying. He said the church in his neighborhood, they had to open it up to put bodies in there. So, wow. Wow. you know, they say Italy has the oldest population in Europe, and that's mostly what it is. And I do believe that. But he, according to him, I mean, there's also a 45-year-old doctor in Italy who died from this. So, and he was healthy. So, right. but, he, you know, you got to understand the health, because elderly are at risk, but also the healthcare workers. Like, if you're a healthcare worker, like, I just want to say thank you for your service because you're in the fucking front lines getting the highest viral dose of this disease. Like if you or I were to contract it, we would most likely the reason why we would most likely beat it is because we would get a low viral dose of it because nobody who has it is coughing directly into our face. Most likely. Right. Am I laying like a girl right now? Yeah, you're laying you're you're laying like Joey. You're laying like um, Joey Camasta. Yeah, (laughs) I'm comfortable like this. You comfy won't be here. I'll, I'll lay like that too. Hold on. So, so basically, the thing is, 
so people know, because I think we have a good understanding that it's really just mostly people are going to die. Unfortunately, people die with the flu. People die with all. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. Is gonna be, this is going to be a classic epi. Because, Mikey, make sure you, you got to fucking you got to if got to put a put a uh, put a gay flag over that. Uh, yeah. Or a put a defense. gay flag or a peach. <laughs> And we legally put that up, or we'll get flagged because I mooned somebody. I mean, you can put it on Patreon, but I, I, I blur it on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Mikey, what's so just happened? Go to patreon.com slash Boys to see my unedited, wart-filled ass. <laughs> it's what it is. So basically, the, the real reason is they don't want the healthcare system to collapse, right? I mean, because people are going to die, but people die with the flu. People die with everything. Uh, this is th the thing. This is easy to catch. It's not that dangerous if you're healthy. But if you have underlying conditions with, with let's be honest, that's probably about 70 percent of America is overweight and, and diabetic. Yeah, I have underlying conditions. So basically, it's like this. The model that I saw is like this. They said, look, if a million people are going to get this thing when it's all said and done <laughs> over the court. But you you, you know, span that out over a year, then you'll be able to save a lot more. But it'll take a year for this thing to be gone, let's say. Whereas if a million people get it next month. So many people are going to die. The ones who are going to survive are probably always going to survive. But the people who are like on the fence who now will die. But if you spread this out, they won't die. If you just look back to 1918 with the Spanish flu, St. Louis took the precautions and quarantined as we're doing. And they had such a low level of death where Philadelphia were like, no, fuck that. We're going to have a hoogies. We're, gonna get, we're not getting him. You can't keep it to him. And a lot of people died in Philadelphia. Philadelphia was like the epicenter of the 1918 Spanish flu. Um, so I think that's what it is. And the analogy that my friend, who's my daughter's godfather, who's an emergency room doctor said to look at it like this, he said, look at the hysteria in the supermarkets. Everyone's going buying toilet paper and Purell and there's nothing on the shelves and there's a two hour wait. He said, imagine toilet paper were ventilators or life-saving ICU beds. He said, and we have a mad rush of people. He said, people are going to die. He said, it's funny to make a meme about there's no toilet paper, but it's not funny when there's no ventilator. So he said, that's why flattening the curve is so important is because if if there wasn't a mad rush into the supermarket you'd have toilet paper right now it'd be fine it would be you know you'd still maybe have a little bit of a line and there'd be you know he's like he was like luke was like i expect the emergency room to be more crowded than previous but he was like but nobody's gonna die because we'll have the resources but if everybody if we don't quarantine and everybody gets sick at once then we run out of beds it's it's crazy to think that they it's not crazy to think it's i guess it's comforting a little bit to think uh, that um and I don't know if it's comforting either. But anyway, it's cool to think that they knew to quarantine back then, too. Dude, they said in the 1600s. I mean, they say Shakespeare wrote stuff. Isaac Newton, you know, came up with the theory of, of gravity. Like, all that stuff is when they were in quarantine from the bubonic plague. So I think it's common sense to quarantine. I think the difference is, is now, you know, even though, yes, we don't have, a, we don't have an antiviral drug that, you know, uh, will stop this, you know, will stop this disease. You do have a... You know, you take Tylenol, your fever breaks. Where back in the day, 300 years ago, like the fever alone would kill you. you right. Know? So, right. And from what I understand, in Canada, they've isolated it. And uh, I think they may have a vaccine already. It just takes about a year for the trials for them to get work out the kinks. Right. Yeah. Well, they don't have that many Trudeaus in Canada. That's why. That's what it is. There's not a lot of Trudeaus up there. So really, there, there's not a lot of deep. You know, it's just a clear lane for those people to research. That's what it is. And if you know what we're saying, then you know. They you know, you know, you don't, you don't. You know. But, uh, yeah, supposedly in Canada and Canada, surprisingly, um, you know, a lot of people say that their healthcare system is bad or whatever. And um, the truth is, they are always kind of on the front lines of pioneering a lot of medical research. I mean, I think open heart surgery, I think that that was pioneered in Canada. If I'm if I'm if I'm correct, I think insulin was also discovered in Canada because your hair is growing back. So yeah. just FYI, it is growing back. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it, it it grows it grows back and then it goes away. I'm a strange kid. It's Francis, what it is. Francis Ellis said to me the other night, "We'll have him he's on the ripped. Pod. He's ripped. He's he, he's a cute. He's about six five. He's kind of what the Fuhrer had in mind. Unfortunately, yeah, he looks like that. He looks like just one of those Uber Uber men that yeah. the, that that got that get, that made Hitler. Pure. Is there a possibility that Hitler was just pureing uh, a gay kid? And he just went pewing for tall, blonde men. Does anyone ever think about that? Yeah, it's what it is. Nobody talks about Hitler being gay. 
He was just trying to create more of the thing that he wanted to fucking move his monkey to. It's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if I became a dictator, yeah, I would just I would just want to have everyone look like Mrs. Poppas. Cause she... Yeah, but the only difference is you would want them to have a penis. That's the only thing. The only thing working against Mrs. Pop is that she doesn't have the dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mrs. Poppins is laughing. Oh, good, because I took a swing and I was I was nervous because yeah. I'm taking my life in my hands for these jokes of the podcast. Mrs. Poppins is working right now. She's she's she has to work from home, which is interesting. She has you know, to work for the truffles. Her and Mrs. Bursey were talking yesterday because they both have to work from home. And it was really funny listening to them talk about how it's actually harder to work from home because you have to do deadlines and things like that. And me and Verzi were just sit, sitting there going like, what time do you want to get coffee tomorrow? 10 or 11? 10 or 11. I mean, because let's be honest, a quarantine for most people is just the way comedians live till about noon anyway. It's just what it is. Yeah, we've always been under quarantine. Now, Mrs. Pappas and uh, Mrs. Verzi, uh, it's going to be nice. When, when are we going to have a triple date? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got Mrs. Pop is laughing. Yeah, we just we'd like to come up. <laughs> Stay away from my husband. <laughs> we'd like to come. We'd like Hold to come up. We've made pas we've made pastelis. Wait, I can't hear. The mic's off. Yeah, I think he muted it. Oh, you muted it on purpose. Yeah, I just had to. I just had to let Miss oh, Pop know the joke. In. Yeah, I had, to, I had to let her know the joke. Yeah, no, we're just gonna come up pastelles. We got pastelles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, anytime, anytime. Any yeah, time. yeah, because yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm been coming up with a few more people now. <laughs> Thank God we have the security cameras. <laughs> well, we got security cameras, so we're ready for you. Yeah, do we have because am I coming up with the allotted I don't know what the what the uh, maximum number of Puerto Ricans I could come up into your town with this. So do I have to let the governor know? Yeah, I don't know if you I don't know if I don't know if you'll be able to get into New Hampshire with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The governor of New Hampshire says no. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, you, look, we just employed another kid and that's just what we're gonna do. It's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean we 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 missed Benetia. But uh, yeah. patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys for more content. I, I'm sure we're going to hear from Patrick Mulroney and Sean Terry during this quarantine. Yeah, and then also I was thinking on patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. If you guys want to go sign up now, me, um, the situation was talking about starting a Zumba class for the quarantine. So if you guys want to see that, we'll put that at the $5 level. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> and I'll you guys, be there too taking it. <laughs> it's good that you guys got, you, you guys got uh, just – Entrepreneurial ideas for the family to supplement so to make some supplemental income during this hard time. It's what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think. Wh why don't you do like a? What you should do like a combo comedy show Zumba night. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sick. We're gonna do that. I'm sick. We're gonna do that. Yeah. And I then, maybe you could do that at Spin XL. What's it called? Yes, yeah, Spin FH. But they had to close. Oh, they had to close. But maybe you could start a weekly comedy show slash Zumba. Yes, yeah, so Zumba. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then uh, I was thinking about we're gonna do that. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be fun, and we're gonna make it all ages and heights, so the squeak can come. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, if you run out of masks, you posted on your Instagram a great uh, a great way to make your own mask. Maybe we can post. Maybe we'll be able to post that on the Patreon. You froze. Are you still there? Uncle Popular. Yeah. Did you see um uh at Wild Crazy's frozen? Did you were you able to were you able to see yeah, you froze up, but Mike, were you able to see uh Chris actually posted a picture of a very, very inventive way you could create your own quarantine mask to go over your head. He found a picture from um from somebody out there who had a really good idea on how to do it. No, I have to take a look. Oh you yeah, take a look? Yeah, well, Hold on, wait, I'm going to text. He probably had to take it down by court order, but the point is we'll probably be able to get it up on Patreon at this point. Okay. Right, Chris? Wait. What? I said you probably had to take down the picture by court order, but we will probably be able to get the photo back on Patreon at some point. For people who are wondering what's a good way to get a face mask on for them to move around, <laughs> Safely. 
Yeah, yeah. And we came up with an innovative idea, which where most innovative ideas come from, 4th Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, they, they've been, they're working on a vaccine for this in Sunset Park. I think that's I think that's yeah, right. I think just, that's yeah, they, they said that the only yeah, you just need a dobo and a crucifix. That's all you need. That's what I heard too. Yeah, and that's all you need is a cantaloupe and that and those two things that you mentioned. <laughs> that's all you need. You need just you need you need a cantaloupe, a dobo, a crucifix, and you got to play Daddy Yankee. And then COVID nineteen runs the other way. <laughs> and that's just what happens. Yeah. That's just that's science right there. I mean, we, we've been doing a lot. We've been very science heavy. The last two episodes, we've been very science heavy. Oh, and the ice over the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, they got to throw the ice over the shoulder, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't squeak for his past part. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, do you know the Greeks also spit over the shoulder for good luck? I mean, you're moving vegetables. You're just moving veggies. I'm moving veggies. Yeah. And, yeah, you got to throw ice over your shoulder. Yeah, and th throwing things over your shoulder is what works, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got banged up last night. I had a bunch to drink, and I had some short rib, and I bought a cigar, and I'm going to go outside and smoke it right after this because quarantine's starting out fun, but by next week, we're going to be eating each other. That's what it's, it's going to happen. It's what it is. Yeah, so, Mike, we're going to call. We're gonna, we're gonna say, hey, we're going to do the podcast in the studio, and it's going to be to eat Mike. It's going to – Mike, you're going to be the first to go because you got the most meat. Okay. <laughs> Have you yeah. gotten the uh, the quarantine picture of the black guy who's got the hog? Yo, yeah, yeah, that's been going around. That guy's like, that guy's got a nice piece. Oh, wow. yeah, that's 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 a funny, <laughs> funny joke that uh, has been going on. Probably all everyone's probably gotten it by now. I, I, everyone's I, uh, wants to know who that guy is. I bet you when this is over, that guy's going to be on Ellen. Now, what are you guys going to do? What what is what are you, what are you guys going to eat? Have you did you stock up at the grocery store already, or you've been ordering takeout? What are you guys going to do? Yeah, it, me and P Mrs. Poppas have gone to the grocery store and we stocked up on food. And uh, yeah, we've just been eating. We've been eating pretty poorly. How about you? What have you been eating? A lot of empanadas? Yeah, a lot of empanadas. No, healthy stuff. <laughs> this is a healthy household. A lot of vegan, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, you know? That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So. Yeah. So what are you going to do at your apartment now? It's just, you want, should we put a studio in there too? <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, me and you both got studio. We, we both got apartments we don't use anymore. Yeah, we could just, yeah, we both, uh, we got studios. There's, we got space. So we got, we got space. Yeah. Mike, yeah, if you want to, if the top half of you wants to live in my place and the bottom half of you wants to live in Chris's, we can make that happen. You do it the other way around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. You can, we, can, we can do that. You know, if you want to just sleep in my place one night and his the other, we can do that as well. <laughs> okay. It's what it is. Listen, guys. Space available. Why don't we? Uh, I gotta go because uh, the baby's coughing, and um, I need to help. I need to help with the panin outside. So okay. we're at fifty-five. Yeah. So yeah, we got. We're good. What's well, that? List. Yeah, Patreon.com/slash Bay Ridge Boys for extra content. Stay safe during this quarantine. Keep checking in. We will continue to do episodes, whether in the studio or not. The History Hyenas podcast will persist. We will persevere. We will not be stopped. And, uh, and yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and write on the Patreon wall, give me some suggested baby names, that'd be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got to go. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. And our, our shows have unfortunately been canceled. Now I can see my quarantine hair better. I mean, my hair is looking wild. But um, our shows have been canceled. Our two uh, theater shows, Gramercy Theater and... Um, and um, and then uh, they've been postponed, so just stay tuned. You know what it is. We're brought to you by um, uh, what you call Lakeside Maple, LakesideMaple.com. Promo code Wild. Go get go get a little bit of that. And um, we lost our sponsor. I just want to say for the last time, salute Ninth Street Auto Collision. Thank you for your service. It was good to have you for this whole entire run. We understand, and uh, we just want to say goodbye to you finally. And, and that's it. Is that it, Mike? That's it. I, I'm going to splice everything else in there. So, Okay. Cool. Thank you, Mikey. Goodbye, everyone. And Thank we'll you see you next time. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Peace out. Chris, Chris D. Comedy. Giannis Pappas Comedy .com. Peace. Peace. Of course, always brought to you by Lakeside Maple. It's a trail mix. You put it up your butt. You go to lakesidemaple.com. Use the promo code WILD, W-I-L-D. You get 15% off your order. That's 15% Right off your order. It's incredible snack. Put in your oatmeal, vegetables, whatever you want to do. Kid's a great kid.
Ninth Street Auto Collision, Auto Repair Station, lifetime warranty on all repairs. You give people good deals on parts and labor. Everybody knows their address. Do you know their address by heart, Giannis? Yeah. What is it? Not Ninth Street. 133 West Hills Road, Huntington Station. You call 631-351-5300. You get a uh, free oil change for Yale Trump 2020. Yep. Uh, James Altucher, you just follow him at James Altucher. He's got so much money, he doesn't care. Um, so, And he's got a comedy club on the Upper West Side. Then this guy's a real schizophrenic. He's a new sponsor. His name's the, the Buckman Breakdown. He sent us about 3,000 messages <laughs> about rewriting the ad. I mean, you're out of your fucking mind. His name is Gareth Buckman. He's got a bi-weekly podcast. He analyzes the latest news in MMA, economics, and financial crimes. I don't know what this kid. He's got a bachelor's degree in sports and exercise science and master's in financial planning. If you want an in-depth analysis of strategic, athletic, and anthropomorphic attributes of the biggest MMA fights, subscribe to to the Buckman Breakdown. I mean, I don't know how that's a business. If you want an insider's look into global economic events and international financial crimes, I don't. Subscribe to the Buckman <laughs> Breakdown. I mean, you're out of your fucking mind, kid. Follow him at... Oh, he's also a professional photographer because why the fuck not? I mean, this kid can do everything. MMA fights, financial analysis, fucking photographer. I'm sure he does stand-up. He's probably got a special. Yeah. He probably banged my ex. Yeah. At Gareth Buckman. Yeah. G-A-R-E-T-H- B U C K M A N, and thank God that's over. Clip uh, it! Clip it! And then, of course, we got Theo's <laughs> feta cheese who tried to swindle out of some money because he's a fucking dirtbag from Brooklyn. <laughs> but he's got feta cheese that's natural milk, cow milk, and it's got salt and probiotics and whatever the fuck else he's probably lying about. But it's got B vitamins and calcium. It's great for muscle, bone, and health and getting jacked. It's cow's milk feta, not sheep or goat's milk. It's naturally lower in fat. He was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it's, all, it's available to the public for two years, and it's already kicking the national brand's ass. You can purchase Theo's at your local Key Food, Big Y, King Collins, Sea Town, Super Fresh, Bozudo's, any fucking store. But really just get it on Amazon. And it's the website is theosfeta.com. That's T H E O S F E T A.com, theosfeta.com, whatever you, I don't care.